Hello Year One, today we are going to be having our second lesson on money and more specifically we're going to be finding totals using number facts. So we've been working really hard on our number bonds to 10, our number bonds to 20 and bridging to 10. So we are going to be using those three skills today in um, the context of using money. So have a look at this toy shop I have got here. I want you to have a go at choosing a couple of things from this toy shop that you want to try and add together and I'm going to show you how we are going to apply the skills that I've just talked about to doing that. So the first thing I would like to buy is a piggy bank. So this piggy bank in the middle and the second thing I would like to buy I think is a paintbrush. So I've got a piggy bank for 9p and a paintbrush for 1p. So have a think here one. What would my what would my be my number sentence for that calculation. It would be 9p plus 1p and then my answer. So have a think, what is jumping out at you here, year one? Can I use any number bonds perhaps? Okay, anyone who has spotted that this is one of my number bonds to 10, well done. Nine and one make 10. So I can do that really quickly in my head without even needing a number line or a hundred square. Nine P plus one P makes 10 P. Next question, year one. I would like to buy this really cool sheriff badge here for 7p and I would also like to buy this toy train here for 6p so a sheriff badge for 7p and a train for 6p what would my number sentence be it would be 6p plus 7p now let's have a look I know straight away that this is not a number bond to 10 and I also know straight away that this is not a number bond to 20. So which skill do you think I'm going to use? Well 7 is not far off from 10 so I'm going to use bridging to 10. How much more do I need to add to 7p to make 10p? Well, I know that three and seven are number bonds, so seven plus three, I'm going to borrow three from here to make that a number bond to 10. So I know three plus seven is 10, and I know that I will have three left out of my six because I've taken away three, because I know my doubles really well, three and three is six. So I'm doing 10 plus three, I've bridged to 10, and I'm adding the remaining three, which is 13p. Final question. I would like to buy a lovely blue teddy bear and I would like to buy a, hmm, I think this key ring here with the star on it. So I want to buy the teddy bear for 15p and the key ring for 5p. So my number sentence will be, say it with me, 15p plus 5p. Okay, which skill am I going to be using here, Year One? Do you spot anything in this equation to help me? Okay, I can see a five and a five, and I know those are number bonds to 10. So if I've got 15 and five, I know that's a number bond to 20. So I can add that again in my head, five and five and 10 from the 15, 20p.